Om Shanti, welcome back. Now we are doing a recording of 12th of September's Godly Blessing. Now here the main thing which Supreme Father is trying to say is that the reason for anger or arrogance is basically one word and that one word is mine. In Hindi we call it Mera. So Supreme Father says over here in this blessing, may you become free from any bondage of karma. See anger also leads to a bondage in karma. Arrogance also leads to a bondage in karma. We remember that person, we remember that situation and we have a bad feeling about that person or that situation. That itself is a bondage. So may you be free from any bondage of karma and be victorious over anger and arrogance by finishing any right of the consciousness of mind. So the virus in the mind is the word mind. Wherever the mind condition comes up, that's where the virus triggers the anger or the arrogance within us and this anger and arrogance is destroying houses, destroying your health, destroying your mental peace and making you feel sadder and making you feel more weaker day by day. That's a fact. Even psychologists say that. So now how do we take care of this word mind? We have to diagnose this word mind which is a virus in a mind. So God says when you think you have a right of mind. When you think you have a right of mind, thinking, why did you do this? I had told you to do this. Why did you do this? Or this is mine. Or this is my idea. This is my thought. This is my way of doing things. So this is my, my, my in terms of mine is the same thing. So this is mine. Could be a property, could be a jewelry, could be your clothes, could be your anything. There is then anger, arrogance or attachment. So think, this one is my service companion. That could be your wife, your husband, your friends. They are serving in your business. They are serving in your job. You are serving together in a job. You are staying together in a family. We are all here to serve each other. Not someone over whom I have a right of mind. So when we have a right of mind in relationships, we say, why didn't you do this? Why didn't you do that? Why didn't you come here? Why didn't you go there? And that is where the anger comes in, that is where the attachment comes in, that is where the arrogance comes in. Then we try to control the other person's reaction, we try to control the other person's drama, we try to control the other person's behavior. And more anger comes in when we see that person is not behaving as for us. Isn't that true? So God says, the virus is the mine word. When someone is not mine, there is then no anger, attachment or bondage of karma. For example, you see somebody and that person for a second doesn't move or budge from in front of you and you get angry for a little bit of time and finally you say, oh, let me go from the right hand side, let me go walk faster. Do you remember that person forever? No, because that person doesn't belong to you. You have no relationship with that person. You forget it. You forget that instance. But when it is somebody whom you think that person belongs to you, which is an attachment, so attachment is in the form of I own that person. Could be in a relationship, could be you are paying some money for that person to do some job in your place, workplace, in your house. So God then says, when someone is not mine, there is no anger, attachment or bondage of karma. So in order to become free from any bondage of karma, make the one father your world. That means nobody is mine. Everybody on this earth has come to do their own part. I don't own anybody. I don't control anybody, I don't see anybody's behavior which can poison my mind or irritate me because I cannot control each soul's part. Every soul has their role to play and that is predestined or predefined. Even a fly which flies in front of me or if the electricity goes right now when I am recording this, that is also predestined. I cannot be complaining to the electricity department or blaming or howling or uh, criticizing it because that is going to not let me be peaceful. So when I think or believe that something is mine, even this body, even this phone, anything which I label it as mine, it's someday or the other going to give me trouble. It's going to bring about arrogance, it's going to bring about irritation and then finally it's going to bring about anger. So I need to remove this virus of mine. I am also nobody's and nobody's mine. As simple as that. This practice helps us to remove everything. And it's a fact. Who's yours? 
think about it open your eyes and think about anything which is right now in front of you and if you think that's your laptop and that is yours for how long if a person is in a relationship parents brother sister husband wife who is there for you forever so how can you say that person is mine so you cannot control anything so god says so in order to become free from any bondage of karma make the one father your world that means the only being who can be there for you forever is only you him nobody else him or her one father and none another that means have all expectations from that being and allow everybody else to play their own part when the one father has become your world there is then no attraction or bondage of weak sanskars that means weak sanskars means weak habits of mind weak sanskar could be mentioned as a weak virus it can be a strong virus but for you it makes you weak so it is could be a strong virus making you weak so it is going to make you feel weak because of that virus in your thoughts and the virus is mine all of mine is merged in the one my father that means i expect everything from him or her anything which happens in my world is for the good and he is deciding it provided i am not using anger or greed or ego or jealousy or attachment because if i am using all these things i am not following his path and then obviously the suffering is going to come to me so the law says not to say anything which is mine and when you remove this virus think about it next time when you feel angry think what am i claiming to be mine could be an idea could be a person could be a thing remove that mine and be free from anger be free from frustration be free from attachment if you have won over this in a few days time do throw in a message about your experience with this om shanti